hear the word of God. So at this time, I'm going to present on you the man of the hour, Elder John L. Butler. Here you have it. Diamond of the Lord,
trying to struggle and do something, don't you know they're going to help you? They'll help the best they can do. But they, they, see, they see you trying to, trying to do something. So the Lord is greater than that. So don't have a, have a mind, have a mind to do what's right. Don't have that mind, you know, you don't want to do what, what is not pleasing the sight of the Lord. Keep in mind, all young people, we pray for all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, everybody is here. Amen. Our objective is to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Uh, We're we going to tell you the truth. I, I mean, I know it right away, but I know one thing. I, I know what is true. Amen. What is true? The Word! <laughs> is that all right? Amen. The Word is true. Amen. Amen. If the word says you, so you got to lap water like a dog, it's still true. Because it's, it's the word of God. And if you strive to live like God says do, you will see that the word is true. Just like the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is for everybody. He said, for the promise is unto you and to your children. Get the 19th chapter back, John. Get the uh, 15th chapter, John. The Holy Ghost is for you. Young people, Amen. is the Holy Ghost for you too? Amen. Is that all right? Yes. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Holy Ghost. And what is the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God. When I say the Spirit of God, I say the Spirit of Jesus. Is that right? That, how do I receive it? By believing the gospel? Believe the gospel and obey the gospel. When will I receive it? Once you believe it. Is that all right? Yeah. Amen. Holy Ghost can follow on. What is that? The power of God. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit of God. That everybody needs. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. So we, 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 caught up, we all caught up in, in materialistic things. But you know what the Lord said? 
He says, seek ye what first? The kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then he said, all these things will be added to you. You know, I thank God for my wife, you know. We were so young. <laughs> we were so young when we got married. She was 19, I was 21. We ain't know nothing. We ain't have a thousand dollars in the bank. But we had Jesus in our heart. I had, I had it all wrapped with the job. You know? I might not have the physical, tangible things, but I had it with really. I had the Holy Ghost. I received the Holy Ghost two years before I got married. I was still in high school. And I was seeking the Lord, calling the name of the Lord. The Lord baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. I repented of my sin. I didn't want to do no more sinful things. I didn't want to lie, smoke, steal, rob, cuss, or none of that. Stop doing it. Now what you have to want to do, you have to want to stop doing it. That's what repentance is all about. It's turning away. Is that right? Lord bless me. Got married. The Lord has really blessed down in close to 44 years. Is that all right? Amen. Bless me. Nine children, about four, 13, 14 grandchildren. They coming on. Is that right? You able to move from Tallahassee, Lord bless. I don't say I do. The Lord did it. That's who did it. You moved from Gainesville. Thank you, dear. Moved from Gainesville, Tallahassee, he had nothing. He had to stay with my mother in law. Thank God for my mother in law. And my sister in law right there. Thank God for them, mother. Let me stay in the old house while they stayed up there in, in Parksville House. But by and by, the Lord bless them. Ain't have no money, Johnny. I'm not telling you money, but I had the Holy Ghost. I had God in my life. And that makes a difference. She had God, my wife had God. We struggled, we struggled, we struggled. We did what we had to do. Thank God for his blessing. She carried nine children. Thank God for her. She's the queen. I thought she's the queen. She's the queen. Can't know the one point they finger at me to do it. You better break it because you're going to be pointing the other way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Why? You want to live right? You want to live right? You want to do right? Amen. I ain't want to stop doing more with the more things I used to do. I know where God brought me from. I don't do the more thing no more and all this stuff. But God bless me with a beautiful wife. We was young and we were just young and didn't know nothing. We had a lot of stuff we didn't know. Because I think we, we talked about we had known what we, if we had known then what we know now. Just naturally, tangibly, or whatever. You don't tell us what we would have. For the Lord bless us. Bless us with our children. Bless us to get a house built. Bless us to get, get a move. They got a five bedroom, double wide trailer, still got it. Still got the house. Still. I'm just saying, I ain't had nothing though, Rick. Joshua, you had nothing? But that's why I say, my blessing comes from the Lord. That's why, that's why you see me giving him praise. And we taught our children what to do. They may not be doing all what they're supposed to do, but they know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. They know exactly what they need to do. And thank God for a dear mother that they got, their mother be trying to talk with her. I don't talk as much as she do. I don't talk, but I pray. Mm -hmm. See, I do pray. Mm -hmm. I'm praying when ain't nobody else are praying. Mm -hmm. I, I got to talk to the one that can control everything. Yeah. But I give God praise, you all. Yeah. All the glory belongs to God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not boasting, but I'm just thankful. Yeah. 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 I'm just thankful. Yeah. Yeah. They're boasting the Lord right? Give God praise for what he does. Thank you, Jesus. So it's a good thing. Jesus. So I'm telling you, young people, sometimes you, I want this, I want that. Seek the Lord. Want to do good. Want to be obedient. Yes. Is that right? Amen. Seek the Lord. All the people, seek the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Yes. Seek him for the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. God, God can do it. Yes. May not be like a whole lot of people that I always never like to be compared with nobody. I'm just what God made me. Yes. Yes. But I know one thing. If, 
If somebody said he got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues and the Spirit of God, I got it too. I know I got it. Ain't no ifs, ands, about it. I know I got it. I, got it. I told y'all my birthday was last, was last month, my spiritual birthday. 46, 46, 48 years, something. But I received the Holy Ghost when I was 19. 18, going on 19. Received the Holy Ghost. And from that day to this, God has been keeping it ain't been easy now. It ain't been easy. I've done a lot of things I've been talked about. I've, a lot of stuff. And I don't worry about all that. But I just give God the praise. Yeah. That's why I say you need the Lord. You, if you receive the genuine, the people you saw in town in school say, you get the genuine Holy Ghost. Yes. I ain't get the real, the real deal. You know, they got some level that's called clever. But I'm talking, you get real level. You get the real Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And you don't stop until you get it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. 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 19th chapter. I mean, it's 10th chapter back. Show you what happened. 10th chapter back. Josh, begin at verse 23. Let's see what it said. 10th chapter back. You know, verse 23. What it said? Then called he them in. Then called he them in. And lodged them. Uh -huh. And on the morrow, Peter went away with them, and certain brethren from Joppa companion them. Yeah. And the morrow after they entered into Caesarea, the Cornelius waited for them and had called together his kinsmen and their friends. Called together his Cornelius called together his kinsmen and his friends. And as Peter was coming in, and Cornelius met him. Uh huh. And fell down at his feet and worshipped him. Yes. Yeah. But Peter took him up and said, What? What did he say? Stand up. I wow. myself also from a man. I'm a man. He ain't got, he ain't got, he ain't got to bow down to me. I'm a man. We only bow down to the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Give him chapter and verse, John. 10 chapter of Acts, you know, verse 25, 26. Read. But Peter took him up saying, What? Stand up. I myself also am a man. I'm a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that would come together. And he said unto them, You know that. You know how that is a lawful thing for a man that is a Jew to company or come unto one of another nation. Yes. But God has shown me but, that I should not call any man common or unclean. But you see what, you see what happened? God has shown him. You don't call no man common or unclean. Mm -hmm. yeah. Read. Therefore came I unto you. But see, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes, saints and friends, it takes God to show you things. Yes. Sometimes it takes God to show you things. It takes even God to show the men of God things. Don't think every man of God that you hear or see know everything. Because I'll tell you before your face and before the world, every, they don't know it all. God got to show them. Yeah. And when they see God, and God will show them. And he ain't going to show them no difference from what's in the Word. Yeah. It ain't going to detour now. It's going to be just like the Word. Is that right? Because yeah. we're all born of the same spirit. If they show him something, thank God he showed it to him. Yeah. I got the same spirit. I'm going to agree with that because I got to agree with what the word says. Yeah. What the book says. Therefore came I unto you without gain saying. I, I ain't coming to you gain saying. As soon as I went sent for, I yeah. asked therefore for what intent you have sent me for me. And Cornelius said, four days ago I was fasting until this hour. I was four days ago I was fasting. To this hour. And in the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. I, in the ninth hour, it was good to pray, saying, Ninth hour, I prayed in my house. Yeah. Uh -huh. Read the book. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. Ooh, ain't that something? You praying and someone stand before you. A man said, A man stood before me in bright clothing. Yes. What happened? It said, Cornelius. Cornelius? Thy prayer is heard. Ain't that the beautiful thing? Yeah. Lord Jesus to pray and then God sent an angel and say your prayers is heard. Yes. Lord help me. So it's good to pray, brothers and sisters. Yes, it's good to take time to pray. Yes. It don't matter you may go to sleep still. When you wake up, call Jesus and tell yes. me pray. Yes. What he said? It said Cornelius. Cornelius. Thy prayer is heard. Your prayers is heard. And thy arms are had in remembrance in the sight of God. The good thing, he was doing good deeds. That's why it's good to, brothers and sisters, let's do good. Yeah. Good to do good. God will get your good. I know sometimes things get a little tough. And sometimes you don't feel like doing good. Because you be tired and go out. 
But you know, you know who see your good? The Lord see your good. But you know what he said? Whatsoever good thing any man do, the same shall he receive the Lord. That should change the whole attitude. Sometimes you don't feel like doing good, and, you, and that scripture comes to you, you get out. Because he said, what's another good thing? Didn't he say so? Read the book. Send therefore to Joppa, and call David Simon, whose surname is Peter. He is lodged in the house of one Simon, a tanner by the seaside. Yes. Who, when he cometh, shall speak unto thee. When he come, he gonna speak to you. Immediately, therefore, I sent to thee. And thou hast well done that thou art come. Read the book. Now therefore are well, now therefore are we all present before God. We are present before God. To hear all things that are commanded thee of God. To, see, that's why we come together like we do. When we come together, we come to hear what God said. That's why the preacher got to tell you the truth. It's a preacher got to tell you, you may not like it, you may not be doing it, but he got to still tell the truth. Because we're here present to you all time. Ain't that why you come? Yes, sir. Don't just come from a formality. Right. Come and say, Lord, I want to. See, we should always come with attitude. Lord, I want to hear something new. I want to hear something you got to say. Oh, give me an understanding in something that I don't understand. Right. We come for God to hear something. Right. Whenever you in the presence of God and you are the, in the assembly of the people of God, always have your ears attentive so that you can receive something from God. Because God will let you know something. Amen. Read the book. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respect of a person. We're in Acts 10, 44, right? Acts 10, 34. 34, all right, go ahead. But in every nation he that feared him. But look at what he said. Read it again, Joshua. Then Peter opened his mouth and said. Then Peter opened his mouth and said what? Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respect of person. God is no respect of person. But in every nation, he every nation, him. every nation, he that feareth him and worketh what righteousness is what is accepted with him. Is that all right? Yes, sir. It don't matter what color you is, where you from. God said, "He that fear the Lord, every nation, he in every nation, he that feareth God." And work of righteousness is accepted with them. Mm -hmm. Read the book. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. He's Lord of all. That word I say, ye know. Ye know. Which was published throughout all Judea. Uh huh. And began from Galilee. Yeah. After the baptism which John preached. Yeah. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God did what? How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. God anointed. God the Father anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost with, and with power. Amen. With what? With the Holy Ghost and with power. When you receive the Holy Ghost, the scriptures say, ye shall receive power. You got to know you got some power. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you got some power. You got to tell you got power. So let me tell you something. The devil don't want you to know you got no power. He wants you to think you're weak. But you can get, you have power when you receive the Holy Ghost. Power to overcome, power to do things that you didn't think you would be able to do. Power to tell that man, I, I can't have sex with you, I ain't married to you. Power to be obedient to your parents. Don't do this, don't do that. You receive the Holy Ghost, you receive power. Man, you receive power now to go out on his wife. Was on the other. You, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive power. Yeah. Is that what you receive power? Oh, you, you ain't getting no weak power. You got the power of God. Amen. Huh? This, this is real power. That's when you're seeking the Holy Ghost, you know what you're seeking for. You're seeking for power. Holy Ghost is power. Mm. I ain't scared to say it either. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, hold your point, Josh. Rick, what you got? Acts 1 and 5, verse 6. What well, Acts 1 and 6 say, bro? When they therefore will come together. When they will therefore come together. They asked of him, saying, What? Lord, Lord, will I this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? What he said? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons. Listen to this now. Without this time restore again unto us 
the kingdom to of, Israel. of Israel. But he said what, Rick? He said unto them, it is not for you to know the time. Give them chapter and verse. I hear pages turn. Acts 1 and verse 7. Acts 1 and verse 7. And give, them 30, give them about 30, 20 seconds to get it. <laughs> you give me time to get it. Because we know we, we can go, we want, you, we want people to see it in the book. Amen. We want yes. people to see it in the book. Yes. When you see it in the book, you ain't got no more excuses. Because you see it in the book. Yes. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Believe the word. Yes. All right. Chapter and verse, and let's read. Acts 1 and verse 7. What did it say? And he said unto them. He said to them. It is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. Well, now, it ain't for you to know the time or season when, when the Lord going to come back and when he's going to return. It ain't for you to know that. Because if anybody knew that, you know what they would do? They'd try to make money off of that. Mm -hmm. As calm as people are. You know, we had one man years ago say the Lord coming back. I remember a long time when I was kind of scared. I was young. The Lord coming back in 2000, man. Mm -hmm. That been too long, got mad at church. I sure didn't want the Lord to come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 You ain't going to be sitting around with me and some guy. Lord, it was about 19, could have been 1980 something, yeah. 70s or something. Yeah. The Lord coming back in 2000, the world going to end in 2000. Yeah. Yeah. And you be scared, you don't know what to do. But at least I did have the Holy Ghost, so I did have me a, I, I had something. I had, I had a passport. <laughs> I did have, I had that job. Yeah. Me and your mother, we had that. Yeah. But you just scared, you know, you, right. you didn't want the world to end. Right. Is that right? Yeah. But what he said, you don't know the time on the season. It is not for you to know. So if you hear people on the radio talking about, the Lord is coming back 20, 22, 20, listen. What did the scripture just say? It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own his power. His own power. Yes. But, is that a conjunction? Yes. It ain't denying for you to know. But, but, ye shall receive power. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Is that all right? Yes. He said, it ain't for you to know the time or the season. But I'm going to tell you something. When the Holy Ghost come upon you, you got power. Ain't that some blessing to have power? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. You got to know how to use this power, too. The scripture says the devil knows one God and they trust you. That's why we believe in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why we call upon that name. The scripture says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Righteous run there, too, and it's safe. So we get in trouble. I'm going to call Jesus. I'm going to call on Jesus. That's where the power went. Yeah. And when I call him, I know he, he's dead here. But the Lord said, he that come to God must believe. Didn't you say so? That you must believe that he is. Yeah. When you get down on your knees, or wherever you, you believe that he is. Yeah. What you mean? You believe that he's present. Yeah. Right there with you. Yes. And you call him to ask him to help you. Yes. Ask him to deliver you. Yes. Ask him to keep you. Oh, Huh? Yes. Yeah, you got to do. You get pressed down sometimes yes. with the troubles of life, when things are like today. We get pressed down with everything. We press down with COVID. We press down with not having enough money. Press down with people they're gonna go up on the prices and stuff. But then they gave you a stimulus check. You don't think you just gonna cruise with ease? They gonna go up on stuff. Amen. You just better be prepared. Look to the Lord. Yes. That's all you got to do. Yes. Is that right? You better let the Lord be your stimulus. Yes. Amen. He don't give out. He don't, he don't give out. He don't give out. He ain't gonna give out so much. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. Didn't he say so? I'm saying, believe in the Lord Jesus. Call on him, young people. Those of you, I ain't been baptized, but you know the scripture says, the name of the Lord, you haven't been baptized yet. Still call on Jesus. That's did he say? Yeah. Whosoever yeah. shall call upon the name of the Lord. He said, Whosoever. Yeah. It, it killed that saying, I ain't been baptized, or I don't have the Holy Ghost. He said, Whosoever. Yes. Acts 10 and 11 says what? For the scriptures say. Scriptures. Uh oh, the scripture talking now. 
Yes, sir. Scripture said, give them chapter and verse. Romans 10 and verse 11. Verse Romans 10 and 11. The scripture said. You, you know, you, you know, you know how they do on, on uh, Facebook or FaceTime or whatever, you know, these different things. People do TikTok and all this stuff. You know how, how young people, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know how they how they get something and put it on the lip to make the lip to get fat. You know, they blow it and bubble or something. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The different the different kind of stuff that they do that's so silly mm -hmm. that don't and, and it, it could kill you. And people are so ready to try that. Mm -hmm. they, they call them the challenges. Mm -hmm. Do this. Lord, y'all know what I'm talking about. I mean, you don't have to act like you don't know. Because you know, don't you need to hold your hand down like you don't know. You don't try the challenge. You mean you don't try the challenge. I don't know what you're doing. But the Lord knows that's why he's talking to you. But I'm saying that to say, if you would try that challenge and you see what kind of results you get, right? I challenge you to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. I challenge you to get in your room by yourself, phone off, computer off, hallelujah, and call on Jesus. 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 And I guarantee you, you're going to get some results. And you know, y'all, they tried the first day, they may not get no results. But it's still on in it. But they're going to try that one more time. Y'all, I, I don't know what you're going to try. But I think, you know, there's a lot of stuff come on. A lot of stuff I don't even know. But all I'm saying is this. Just like those challenges come up, I'm not on the app. I'm not on the computer. I'm here to prep before you tell me. Challenge me. Get in your room, close your door, and call on Jesus and ask him to help. Because I don't care how young you are, you still need help, young people. Amen. Uh -huh. That's right. You still need help. Because we're living in a, a wicked world. Amen. That's true. People killing people. Every day, every, like, every day I hear somebody getting shot. Somebody went somewhere and shot somebody shot again. Don't you know we need the protection of the Lord? Amen. That's why I'm saying these things. Always say, Lord, go before us. Help us. Yes. As, a, as a prayer, lead us not into temptation. Yes. But what? Deliver us. From what? Evil. Is that all right? All right, Rick, what you say? Acts 10 and verse 11. What is that? Well, the scriptures say it. Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Uh -huh. But there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Yes. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same, the same Lord over all, over all is rich. Is rich unto all, unto all that call upon him. He's rich unto all. Unto all. All upon him. If I say all stand, all rise. Yeah. Everybody get up. So he's rich unto how many? All. Unto all. That call upon him. That call upon him. That's beautiful, you all. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing to know. So he's rich. It ain't like he's gonna give out. Can't no man stand up and say, oh, all y'all just keep coming and giving. If I say, okay. When, I, when we just spend all y'all come up here, and I'm going to give everybody $100. Y'all going to show up. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. But I said, I'm going to give you the hundred. Oh. Oh. So can't nobody leave out that door and say, I ain't getting that. Cause, cause, is that right? The Lord is rich unto what? Oh. Unto all that do what? Call on it. There is no difference. There ain't no difference between the Jew, Jew and, the Greek. and the Greek. For the same Lord over all yes, Lord. is rich unto all. Thank you, Jesus. That call upon him. That's all right, isn't it? For whosoever. For who, listen, listen. Whosoever. You know, whosoever is, it doesn't matter who you are. Whosoever shall do what? For whosoever shall call upon the Whosoever name shall call on the Name of the Lord Amen. shall be saved. And y'all know the name of the Lord. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. 
Is that all right? He's rich up to all that call of Christ. Is that all right? Acts 4 and verse 12. <laughs> That's it. Neither is there salvation in any other. Neither, Acts 4 and 12 says, neither is there salvation in any other. But there is none other name. There is none other name under heaven. Under heaven. Given among men. Yes. Whereby we must be saved. Ain't no other name given. So anytime y'all come here, anybody, you can call on Jesus. Don't, don't call my name. You don't get out of the hell of a 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 is that all right? Yes. Amen. I just want y'all to get for me to call it. Young people get for me to call it on the name of the Lord. Amen. Older people get for me to call it. Amen. It's probably that name. I'm telling you. Amen. All right, Josh. That's 1038. 1038 now. How God anointed Jesus. God did what? Of God anointed Jesus of Nazareth mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and power. He went about doing good. He went about doing good. And healing all that were oppressed with the devil. Healing them that were oppressed with the devil. Thank God for healing them that were oppressed. The devil, he, he, he put a pressure on them. The devil put pressure on them. He didn't want to lie. He, he always wanted to worry and have all kinds of stuff in his mind. That, that's all he do. He wanted to divide homes. Anything you want to do, you want to divide families. I mean, the devil be doing that kind of stuff. What he said? For God was with him. God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Whom they stood and hanged on a tree. They hung, they hung him on a tree. Him God raised up the third him day. Him God raised the third day. And showed him openly. Showed him openly. Not to all people. He ain't showed him to everybody. But unto witnesses chosen of God. Yes, sir. God, Go ahead. Even to us. Who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. After he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. And, and he commanded us to preach to the people and, and do what? And to testify that it is he. It is he that was what? Which was or ordained of Which God. Which was ordained of God to be what? To be the judge of the quick and dead. So who's the judge of quick and dead? Jesus. Jesus. Judge of quick and dead. Amen. Read the book. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name. Through his what? Through his name. Whosoever shall call upon the name. Through his name, what's going to happen? Whosoever believeth in him. Believe in him. He that comes to God must believe. When you get down on him, believe in him. He's there. He's not from him. He's not as far as from him to the moon either. Amen. Well, the scripture says he's not thee. Even in thy mouth, the words of faith which we what? Preach. Read the book. That through his name, whosoever believes in him yes. shall receive remission of sins. Shall receive remission of sin. You believe in the Lord Jesus? Yes. Believe that Jesus died, rose again for your sins? Bless you with a mind to receive of his spirit? You get baptized in his name, your sins are forgiven. That's what we tell anybody. Anybody get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you believe the Lord, believe the doctrine, your sins are forgiven. The scripture said old things are what? Pass away. When somebody say he done passed away, you don't look to see him no more. If your, if your old ways done passed away, I know the old man trying to ride, but the old lady don't. You know, they they try to get resurrected somehow. Y'all know that? Y'all know that old man trying to get resurrected? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The old don't. Yes, sir. Yes. As long as you're in the flesh, that old man will try. He want, he want to come back to life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to keep him down. <laughs> he try to do it. I mean, he try to do it in the church. He try to do it in the home. He try to do it 
Well, hell, you want that old, even on your job, the old man's driving. That don't mean nothing because you ain't, you ain't sitting on a pew. You may be sitting behind the desk. The old man still trying to rise up. He'll try to rise up more then. Because there ain't no saints around, just people, people that, just, that you are just associating with. You got, you know, you got to take control every situation, every area of life. Yeah. That's why you got to keep your mind on the Lord. Yeah. What did he say, God? While Peter yet spake these words. Well, while Peter, now Peter was preaching the gospel, yeah. while Peter yet spake the words, what happened? The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. The what? The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Everybody say, Holy Ghost. Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. The Holy Ghost fell on you. And when the Holy Ghost fell, fall on you, he ain't going to crush you like a big rock. He going to crush your ways, though. But you ain't going to be crushed like a rock. Because you're going to have so much joy. Joy in the spirit of the full Let him just have his way to leave. But while the word was being preached, the Holy Ghost fell on them. And what happened? The day of the circumcision, which believers were astonished. They, now, you had believers there, you had unbelievers. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. And they that are of the were of the circumcision, they were astonished. Why? As because many, why? As many as came with Peter. As many as came with Peter. Because of that, on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost was poured out on the Gentiles also. Not just us. Not just us. It wasn't just us. It ain't just us. We see those everybody in the world. Yeah. Chinese man, it don't matter. Arab, it don't matter. Amen. Holy Ghost is all along. Yeah. But they were astonished because they thought that it was just about them. But what did he say? Well, they heard him speak with tongues. Oh, they heard him do something. Yeah. Right. Somebody said, well, you, you ain't got to speak in tongues. You see the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you something. That's a lie. Yeah. Don't come tell me that. If you receive the Holy Ghost, you're going to speak in tongues as the Spirit of God. Gives. You should know it's a language. And the only way that you would know the language, God has to give you interpretation. But it is a language. What did he say? For they heard, for they heard him speak with tongues and magnify God. They heard him speak in tongues and magnify God. Then answer Peter. Then answer Peter. Can any man forbid water? Sometimes people say, well, I got the Holy Ghost. I don't need no water. Yes, you do. If you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to need some water. And if you ain't got the Holy Ghost, you're going to need some water. What is that? Can any man forbid water? Can any man forbid water? That these, that these, that these should not be baptized. These should not be baptized. How? Which have received the Holy Ghost. Which have, received, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. One thing about it. The Holy Ghost is a witness. You don't have to be ashamed, you don't have to be scared. But when the Holy Ghost comes upon you and you speak in that language, I'm going to know. Others going to know too. Because you hear what he just said? What did he say? Can any man forbid water? Uh -huh. That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost which as well as we. Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the and Lord. And commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. They prayed to him and tarry certain days. Tell you, Amen. That's all right. So you repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank God. Acts 19. For all things, Acts 19 says what, Rick? Verse 1. What it says, my brother? And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, what happened? Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. Find a certain disciples. What he said to them? He said unto them, What? Have you received the Holy Ghost? You now some people say, I believe the Lord. I oh you believe the well, yeah, Lord. Yeah, okay. You receive you have, have you, you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received you believe it, but have you received the Holy Ghost? Since. Have you have you made a, a step further? Have you went a step higher? Yeah. Since. You believe it. Okay. I believe the Lord. Okay, no problem. I ain't gonna condemn you because you believe. Yeah, but have you received the Holy Ghost since, since you believe? <laughs> 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 And they said unto him. Give him chapter verse, right? Acts 19 and verse 2. 
He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, What they said? We have not so much as heard whether there be. We don't even know if there be a Holy Ghost. But what we joking? Well, at least, at least they were telling the truth. They were honest. I don't know about the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the Holy Ghost. What, what about the Holy Ghost? What did he say? And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? Well, I don't know how you were baptized. And they said unto John's baptism. What did John do? Then said Paul, John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. Yes. That is on Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them. Ooh, that was blessing, isn't it? Yeah. They were baptized. And he laid hands on them. Amen. Is that right? The Holy Ghost the Holy came Ghost on came on them. It's just a, a bunch of ready people. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Can that happen today? Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. Certainly it can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Certain things like that can happen. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. But you know, you say, I'm just wait till the man put his hand on me. No, you go and seek the Lord yourself. <laughs> no, no, we don't like to get hands on but God, it, it may not be the one, but you, what you do, you seek the Lord. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Believe the gospel. Scripture as is written, and the Lord will bless you. Because He said, You be obedient to the Lord, the Lord will bless you with the Holy Ghost. All right. And we thank God. What else, Rick? And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues. Oh, they did something, though. The Holy Ghost just didn't come. Somebody said, Well, I got the Holy Ghost. I said, Well, how you know you got the Holy Ghost? I just got it. I feel it. I just, ooh, I just feel so much different now. My hands look new, my feet, they do too. I don't think the way I used to. And you, 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 you see the only way I can see that guy. How you know you got it? I just told you. That's not the Bible way. That's not the way that Peter can receive it. Is that right? If you, you ask anybody they ever seen the Holy Ghost, you say, yeah, you know, why you really got Because I spoke in tongues according to the Spirit of God. Amen. You ain't got to have to take me. Yeah. No, I'm a witness because the, the witness, Jesus said, yeah. hey, the witness will come and be in you. Yes. I know yeah. I can see. Yeah. Then if I have if I have to, yeah. I'm humble enough as, as the king to go of his robe, right? Yeah. And get down before God yeah. and call upon him yeah. for I ain't never got to the point, hallelujah, where I can't call upon the name of the Lord yeah. and the power of God can be restored to me. Yeah. If I have, is that right? Yeah. Oh, no, I ain't got that comfort. Yeah. <laughs> As a well of water springing up. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them. And they, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Amen. 15th chapter of John, a few verses, and I'm going to close it out. 15th chapter of John, the Lord's will, I'm going to close it out. What is that? When you get there. I am the true mind. Uh oh, here's Jesus talking now. What is that? I am the true vine. I am. The true, but you know what? When you think about a vine, a vine comes from something. A vine just don't pop up. A vine is coming from something that is, it, it, in a sense, that it was birthed from. It's something that it came from. A vine. You know, you you, you know, you, you you're digging up different plants, and you, you see this plant, but if you keep trailing it, is that all right? It comes from the early. It has a, a beginning. You see.